You want things that'll make you feel comforted? Chicken and waffles, mac and cheese, and of course, who could forget a good old hot shower? There are also what I would say comfort objects, right? When it comes to building your truck, certain brands, for example, that just keep you coming back specifically here on wheels, the old reliables, if you will, right? The, the old go-tos, the ones that you just want to continue to going back to. And despite all the wheels available to you today, there's just that one that just keeps coming back again and again and again and again. I'm Dustin, dusty.co on Instagram, and that's with an I and not a Y because, well, that's what Instagram had available at the time and don't judge me. And in today's video, we're gonna be going over some of your favorite wheel brands and just why there may be some big changes to them coming in 2022. Let's get into it. If this is your first time stopping by, then welcome to Custom Offsets. If you're new to maybe building your truck, right? Cause we were new to building our trucks at one point, then make sure that you subscribe so you can learn more about it if you haven't already. If you're not new to the channel or if you just like to be direct because, well, you know what you want, then check us out at customoffsets.com. We've got over 150,000 different wheels and tires in stock ready to ship to your door, including some of your favorite brands like TIS, Fuel, Moto Metal, Archon, and tons and tons more, plus tires like Venom Power and Nitto and all that good stuff. Also, be sure to stay tuned until the end as there is some important information regarding some of those wheel brands that we just talked about that you're not going to want to miss. It's kind of important. Trust me, just stick around. That's the plug, take it or leave it, into the video. Specifically here, when we talk about your favorite wheel brands, we're talking about wheel pros. Now, if you're not in the business of wheels and tires like we are, then the name wheel pros probably doesn't ring a bell for you. Let me set the stage for you, if you would, though. Let me take you back. We'll bring you up to speed, right? We're going to start way back in the late 1960s. What a time to be alive, by the way. Do you know that zip codes were introduced in 1963? Also, Sharpie markers were introduced in 1964, and it still makes possible for guys like me to remember when to change their oil and fuel filters because, well, I'm old school. I still write on my filter. It's like the old farm kid in me. 1, 26, 22. 259, 853. It's just, it's how you do it. Meanwhile, in the world of wheels, things were really heating up. The 60s were prime muscle car era, right? And because of this, guys like us were doing what we do best and trying to squeeze as much freaking horsepower out of their cars as they could. While this was great for going fast, it let much to be desired in the world of traction. Back then, cars, they were coming from the factory with small passenger carrying tires. They were made to ride smoothly. They weren't made to put down a ton of horsepower, which meant that when you went to go stand on it, you would just spin. Made cool burnouts, not good for going fast. To combat that, guys began running wider tires and to run a wider tire, you have to run a wider wheel, right? It's just, it's the way math works. To combat this, a guy by the name of Roy Vachin of Southern California would open up a shop where people could bring in their stock wheels off their muscle cars, and Roy would literally cut them apart, add a wider barrel to them, flip the, the face of it inside out, right? And then weld it all back together before chrome plating them and sending them back to you. Now, not only did this get you a wider wheel, but it also allowed you to reuse your factory hubcaps, keeping your classic car looking great. The man literally invented the multi-piece wheel and he didn't even know it yet, which is incredible. By 1970, a gentleman by the name of Parnelli Jones, which is a wicked cool name by the way, had seen this growing demand for wider, good looking wheels for muscle cars. Because of this, he would launch a company called US Mags, who focused on wider wheels for hot rods by selling them in retail stores in the western half of the US. US Mags would go on to eventually dominate the entire industry for a long time, paving the way for pretty much every single wheel brand that we have in 2022. If it wasn't for this Parnelli Jones guy, we probably wouldn't have aftermarket wheels, which is wild. Over the next two decades, Parnelli would team up with a guy by the name of Art Holly, growing the business and expanding into new companies like American Racing, for example, or another one that you may have heard of, Foos Wheels, which was the brainchild of a young wheel designer by the name of Chip Foos. When you think of the iconic holy trinity of hot rodding, it's Boyd Coddington, Stacy David, and Chip Foos. Like those are the guys. Literally, Chip Foos is the freaking man. He's been around for a long while now and he continues to crush it every single day. I mean, 
We actually got to meet him at SEMA 2021 and it was incredible. I was like a little kid. I was all giddy, just like standing in line, holding my little voucher. Got to shake his hand and introduce myself. It was super cool. Big shout out to Morimoto, by the way, for making that one happen. That was, that was incredible. It was like a bucket list thing. This collaboration of brands would ultimately become what is more commonly known as MHT wheels. Now, stay with me, this is where it gets spicy. MHT would continue to dominate the market. They would launch new products over the next 30 years until like 2009 when they were like, hey, what if we made like a tree and branched out? And branch out they did. Enter stage left, fuel off road. Combining unique styling with the quality of wheels that MHT had just been known for with their other companies like Niche and Rotiform, Fuel literally hit the ground rolling. Suddenly Fuel wheels began popping up everywhere, on everyone's trucks, on all sorts of builds. They were, they were all over the place. This would remain relatively unchanged for the next 10 or so years with Fuel dominating the market. In 2019 though, things would change again as MHT would merge with a wheel distribution powerhouse otherwise known as Wheel Pros. This would again cause Fuel to spike in popularity and make it a partner brand to brands like KMC, Rotiform, Moto Metal, and a ton more. Here's why all of that backstory matters, though, why we decided to go down that little rabbit hole, right? Over the last few years, it's no secret that things have been pretty difficult in terms of producing and shipping wheels. Raw aluminum prices skyrocketed. They're freaking crazy. And shipping costs are over triple what they were in 2019 right now. More importantly, delays at the ports and container ships deciding they want to get wedged sideways in the Suez Canal really made it difficult if you're in the market for a new set of wheels here. It's not been easy. Because of this increased cost, many manufacturers have been raising their prices and Wheel Pros is no exception to that rule. We recently got word that starting on February 1st, Wheel Pros will be increasing their prices by a couple percent depending on which wheel you're looking at. We wanted to let you guys know as soon as we found out, right? Because if you're currently shopping for a set of wheels from any of the Wheel Pros brands, it may be a good time to grab them versus waiting for later. Some of the brands here that we're talking about is gonna include Moto Metal, KMC, XD, Black Rhino, American Force, and of course the star of today's show, the bell of the ball we're talking about, Fuel Off-Road Wheels. Now, it's not all doom and gloom though, guys. The good news is that if you're looking for a set of wheels from any of those companies right now, there's a good chance we probably have them in inventory. This means that you can scoop your setup before the prices go up and get them in just a few days from customoffsets.com. At the end of the day, what makes fuel so goddamn popular is that they're just almost universal when it comes to design styling. They make a wheel that fits pretty much everything, all the way from a level daily driver all the way up to a SEMA build and literally everything in between. It's what's kept them near the top of the food chain and in our top 10 wheels of the year every year since I think Custom Offsets was founded way back in 2013. They've just always been a really heavy hitter. What do you guys think though? Would you run fuel wheels or are you going a different direction? Let us know down in the comments section below and as always be sure to subscribe if you haven't already so you can keep up with all the awesome Custom Offsets content. With that, I'm Dustin with Custom Offsets. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.